While Bethany was in the hospital, I found a journal that she had written. She said she had experienced some very horrible things. It was just devastating and heartbreaking to know that my child had walked through that kind of thing. Reading the journal put a lot of things in perspective for me. It's not just the drugs that she needs help with. There's all kinds of emotional things down inside. She's not free. She's not free. Despite recently being in a medically induced coma and having open heart surgery to save her life, Bethany admits she is still using heroin multiple times a day. Her serious drug addiction has left her sister Abby, brother Josh, and parents Charlotte and Clyde absolutely confounded. They're heartbroken, they're confused, and frankly, they feel helpless. They, they, they don't know what to do. Don't know, have no earthly idea. I do know that I'm, I'm done. After seeing what I saw today, I'm done. I can't because I just feel like in the last five years that I'm the reason that she's where she is today. And that's very sad to me. That's heartbreaking to me to think, even though my family was telling me, Mom, you gotta stop. You know, I haven't wanted to until I saw and heard what she said today. And I can't do it anymore, I know that. But you see why I zeroed in on you from the beginning. <laughs> Josh, talk to me. What are you thinking and feeling right now? I wanna get off of this roller coaster ride of, of emotions and, and heartbreak and, and see her live normal. Cause she is a smart girl. She is. And she's beautiful when she's sober. And she has so much to offer and it's frustrating. It's so frustrating just to see her throw her life away. It, waste all this precious time of drugs and, and this terrible things that are that we've heard today that she's been doing it's just it's just sad and it's heartbreaking abby what do you want to say to your sister i'm angry with her i just the stuff that she does is i guess being a female is just <clears throat> disgusting and just it just makes me angry. I'm hurt and I don't understand why, why she chose drugs and why she does everything over. She doesn't care about her family. She cares about heroin. At this point, she couldn't stop this if she wanted to. Because there is a physiological addiction that she has. There are parts of her brain that have been programmed to where she has to do this. And this is not a psychological, habitual phenomenon here. This involves her brain and her physiology. There are pleasure centers in the amygdala of the brain, in the nucleus accumbens, in the brain that are involved. And she is in a neurological loop here that she cannot get out of. And I don't think she has ever had proper treatment. I think she's had partial treatment. She's had the 28-day patch. And it didn't work. If I told you that I know what you need and I can put you on that path, would you want to have it? <laughs> 